Everybody, welcome back by day. He is a financial advisor by night. He is a pumpkin carver extraordinaire. Brian Yeager makes some of the most killer pumpkins in Las Vegas. He is a busy man these days, as you can imagine, but he is joining us this morning. Oh, that's a weird angle. Why am I? What are we doing here? All right, Brian, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? All right, so the, I, I, I was confused right off the bat. Uh, so these are like artificial, what are these? These are plastic artificial pumpkins. Okay. You get them at Michael's. Uh, you know, they last forever, so you can put a, a good long time into carving them. And I like that because if you take like an hour to carve a pumpkin and then you can only, you know, enjoy it for like a week. Yeah, except these take 20 to 30 hours to carve. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So a regular pumpkin, yeah, we can spend a little time on those but they usually die in three days. But right. These, these will last forever. Well, they better if you're spending that much time on them. <laughs> yeah. um, so walk us through the crop that you're showing off here on our table. Uh, let's see. This year I did uh, just a simple Hot Wheels for a friend of mine. This is a mummy. Um, this one is obviously the Golden Knights, mm -hmm. our, our hometown favorite. This one is, uh, let's see, is they like call it Day Co of the Dead or Sugar Skull. Yeah, it's like from Coco. And this is, uh, oh gosh, what one is that? It's the um, Godzilla, but it's the Van Van Gozilla. Okay. Van Gozilla. Van Gozilla, yeah. So each one of these took you 20 to 30 hours, um, give or take? Not all of them. I mean, the Knights one is fairly simple. This one was a couple of hours, an hour maybe. Okay. But the, these guys, I did spend 20 to 30, mm -hmm. you know. Is this just something you just kind of like a passion project of yours? Or? Um, I started car when I was 10, I used to sit in front of Safeway uh, on Decatur and Alta, and I'd carve uh, real pumpkins when mm -hmm. people would go in the stores, and they'd give me tips and come out. And then I had a couple of daughters uh, about 19 years ago, and so I started carving again, and I found out that they had these artificial pumpkins. So and that was the start of your financial empire when you were a 10-year-old <laughs> carving pumpkins? Yeah, you don't make a lot of money carving pumpkins. <laughs> it's a very seasonal business, very. All right, so for somebody who wants to do this, you know, what are some things they need to know? and um, obviously, this is a little more complicated than just cramming that little saw thing into yeah, a yeah. real pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, pumpkin. you need a little, a few tools. Uh, a hot knife uh, from from a craft store will get you through these things like butter. Um, you can also have Dremel tools and little files and X-Acto knives to make little cuts in things. We're oh, looking yeah. at some video of you there doing you it go, right yeah. now. Yeah. So there's there's some different ones I've done. Um, I have some instructional videos uh, on my website. Um, yeah, and so yeah. What, uh, what's the first thing somebody needs to know to do this? What, what's, what's well, like you the gotta best? put a pattern on first. You get a picture of something you wanna carve mm -hmm. and you glue it to the pumpkin. And then you just carve right through the pattern. So that's the first thing you need to know. And that would be this, let me just take, sh show this. Sure. You, this one's for, for the front of your house. You put it on, on the light. But this would be something real simple anybody could do. You put the pattern on, you cut it right through with a hot knife, you put a little band on the end and then you can put it on the front of your house as, uh, on the porch light. Now, if you were to do one of, of Jillian, that's Jillian sitting right over there, how long would that take you to do? It would be impossible. She's too beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, my pleasure. Was, thank you. And uh, if you want to learn more, check out uh, his, uh, you got a website there? Uh, killerpumpkin.net. All right. There you go. All right, Jillian. Man. Well, those are amazing. I love how he says a Hot Wheels pumpkin is simple. I can barely do a regular jack-o'-lantern, so. <laughs>